Hello and welcome. Today I'm very proud to present a brand new lens. So this is a prototype of the new Vogtländer Apolantar 2.0 50mm lens. Very interesting lens, very sharp and I'll show you how sharp it is. So Apolantar is the top of the quality for the uh, Vogtländer lenses. So we had two lenses available. It's a 65 millimeter and the 110 millimeter macro lenses. But now as a standard lens, 2.0 50 millimeter lens. And I push it to the limits. I really push it to the limits. Um, with the Sony a7R4, we not only can do 61 megapixel shots, but we can do also the 240 megapixel shot through the uh, pixel shift of the sensor. You combine it in the, um, in the computer and you have 240 megapixel shots. So I'll show you uh, with, here are some shots, and I'll show you with this shot um, what could be done and can be done, and we will do this with 240 megapixel. So 240 megapixel means that as a 16-bit TIFF file, you have um, the uh, data size 1.35 gigabytes per file. So that's really a lot of data. And how clean the data is, I will show you. In pixel sizes, it means that the picture is 19,008 pixels wide and uh, 12,672 pixels high. So that's really a lot of data, which means that it, even if you do a ridiculous 200, uh, 350 dpi's for your print, you have a print size of 138 by 92 centimeters. So <laughs> really a lot of data. So, and how can we use this lot of data? If we don't want to print such large sizes, we can do also very, very good crops. And okay, this is from a balcony in the Algoi Alps. It's 50 millimeter lens, typical uh, shot. Okay, but we don't have a telephoto lens with us. So let's simulate a telephoto lens like this, okay. And we create a nice shot. Okay. And this crop, like this, here you see how it is arranged in the whole pictures. This shot is 20 megapixels, still 20 megapixels, even if I crop it in this size. And I wanted to push it to the limits and I show you. I know that here in five kilometers distance, anyway, here, is a hut, the Waltenberger Haus. So I zoom in and zoom in and zoom in and I push it here and there you see the hut and I zoom and zoom and zoom. So even if we have such a very, 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 whoops, very, very small crop, I hope I find it again, yeah, very small crop, you not only can see the hut. You even can see and count the windows of the hut. Now so that's really a crazy resolution. And we go back and want to see how it is on the edges. We just go there and go a bit like there. And here on the corner, we go closer and closer and closer and look there and go closer and closer and we check there. So you can see the single poles of the fence there in three kilometers distance. So there you need a lot of resolution in the lens. Most of the modern lenses are pretty good and can um, su or support a resolution of 50 or 100 megapixel, which is a brand new lens and a good lens. But this lens you really can use without any hassles 
on 240 megapixels. So Vogt Lander 2.0, 50 millimeter, Apolanta, crazy lens. Bye-bye, see you later.